Dear Clark, I've been transferred as a correspondent to one of the foreign offices associated with the Daily Planet in Hong Kong. I just cannot go on living in Metropolis, constantly being in contact with Superman. He's the love of my life, and I can't stand the emotional pressure. And I prefer to forget as much as possible by moving away. I said all this to say that I'll miss you, Clark. You're a great reporter and a great friend. Love always, Lois Lane. After reading the letter, Clark Kent is left feeling very distraught. And as we all know, Clark Kent is Superman, and he loves Lois. Perry White, the editor-in-chief at the Daily Planet, and Jimmy Olsen, Clark's good friend and photographer, try to console him, explaining to him more of why Lois was fed up with things in Metropolis. Clark is then introduced to the new star reporter at the Daily Planet, Lana Lang. Clark is quite impressed with Lana, and they immediately take a liking to each other. It won't be easy for him, but in time, Clark will find the strength to move on so he can be the reporter he needs to be and the hero the world needs him to be. Many years ago, before Krypton exploded, there was another survivor who would become known as Supergirl. As a young girl, she escaped Krypton, much like Kal-El, who we all know as Superman. Unlike Superman, however, she did not end up on a farm on planet Earth. She ended up on another planet, Brainiac's planet. Brainiac is the opposite of Superman's adoptive parents. He's a sinister and dark man. But he raised Supergirl, and together they discovered her superpowers. But Brainiac wasn't really a father figure. In fact, as Supergirl grew up, he became affectionate, as of a man in love. When she became of age, he proposed to Supergirl, which he vehemently rejected. As the tension between them became too great, Supergirl decided to run away. And by destiny, she landed in a little city in the United States on planet Earth. Supergirl slowly but surely began to fit in within society and became a gym teacher at a local school. Her exceptional Kryptonian powers made it easy to assimilate Earth's ways. Supergirl's greatest worry, though, was always Brainiac. She knew that he would be searching the universe for her, using his remarkable technical genius. After Lois left Metropolis, it took Clark Kent some time to heal, but he carried on. As Superman, he continued to help the people of Earth, stopping robberies, putting out fires, being the hero the world needed him to be. But then, one day, a mysterious new hero revealed her powers by stopping a cataclysmic event, making herself known to the world. Superman was puzzled by the new hero and needed to know more about her. So, he came up with a little idea. Superman posed as a petty criminal to see how she would react and to see whether she was good or evil. She, of course, immediately came to the rescue. And that's how Superman and Supergirl met. They had so many questions about each other. Ultimately, they learned that they were both from Krypton, but were from different family lines and not related. The two heroes spent a lot of time together, flying into the heavens, stargazing closer than any human ever could. They magically fell in love. Mm -hmm. 
Meanwhile, unbeknownst to anyone, including Superman and Supergirl, Brainiac arrived on planet Earth. After arriving on Earth, he immediately transformed stones into golden diamonds to have wealth and power. Brainiac established his headquarters in a historical European castle where he set up his highly sophisticated weaponry. It didn't take long for the villain to discover not only about Supergirl, but Superman as well. And the fact that they held affection for each other. Angered by this, Brainiac decided to create a machine. A machine that would affect Superman's personality. With the push of a button, he would be able to make him violent, melancholic, and sarcastically funny. Superman would become completely unpredictable in the hands of Brainiac. Brainiac gets to work with his new machine, tampering with Superman's mood. However, the machine doesn't only affect Superman, but Clark Kent as well. One day, Clark Kent slaps Perry White when asked to correct one of his articles. On another occasion, Superman and Supergirl blissfully in love are in the middle of saving a burning building when suddenly and totally unexpectedly, Superman becomes violent and starts to destroy everything they are trying to save. Over the course of time, Brainiac continues to tamper with Superman's mood, throwing him into a whirlwind of emotional reactions that are completely irrational and unbecoming of him. This makes Supergirl think, with panic and disbelief, that this is not the Superman she knew. She tries everything she can to play along with Superman's totally unpredictable moments. Supergirl and the world at large are totally bewildered by the actions of this now very strange man of steel. There is a tension building up around the globe that everyone wants Supergirl to get rid of Superman. And she's the only one with enough strength to do it. In this critical moment in time, Brainiac visits Supergirl and offers her a deal. If you agree to marry me, I will stop tampering with Superman's personality. If you don't, I will bring Superman to the utmost state of total evil madness. Supergirl's reaction is one of despair, sufferance, and confusion, as she still feels a daughterly love for Brainiac. But seeing that this evil genius has lost all control through his passion for her, she decides to play along with him. To find a way to discover a weakness, Brainiac's Achilles' heel, and she goes with him to his castle. Meanwhile, Superman, being released from Brainiac's hold, is searching desperately for Supergirl. As for some reason, it appears she has disappeared from the face of the Earth. While flying in his search for Supergirl, Superman encounters Mr. Mixus Pitalek, a strange, small little man who, not being bound by physical laws, can do anything that seems to be pure magic. Mr. Mixus Pitalek begins terrorizing the world with his deadly jokes, which threaten to kill hundreds of thousands of people. This new invincible enemy doesn't permit Superman the time to be Clark Kent anymore as he puts all his efforts to stop him. Back at the Daily Planet, Perry, Jimmy, and Lana are worried about the whereabouts of Clark and trying to find out the last time anyone saw or heard of him. Assuming that Clark Kent, because of his exclusive articles, is often where Superman is, Perry, still puzzled by Clark's behavior, sends Lana and Jimmy to Europe, where they know Superman is fighting the new mysterious enemy, Mr. Mix's Pitalek. After a long battle, Superman finds a way to send Mr. Mix's Pitalek back to his galaxy by making him say his name backwards. With Mr. Mix's Pitalek out of the way, Superman can continue his search for Supergirl.
Meanwhile, Brainiac has prepared everything for his return to his own planet along with Supergirl, who in the meantime is desperately trying to find a solution. Before Brainiac can make his escape, Superman finds them. And before Brainiac has a chance to activate the controls, which would affect the hero's personality, Superman attacks him. However, he soon discovers that Brainiac's powers are much stronger than Superman's. Ultimately, Brainiac overcomes Superman and immobilizes him by trapping him in one of his energy cages. Brainiac, taking Supergirl with him, travels back in time, medieval times, an era of knights, nobles, and serfs. Brainiac becomes a ruthless tyrant with the serfs. He also reminds Supergirl, If you don't follow me willingly, I will activate the personality machine through the time lapse and destroy Superman. Back at Brainiac's castle in 1981, Jimmy and Lana, while still looking for Clark, are able to free Superman, who helped them find the castle with the help of his super voice. At once, Superman takes Lana and Jimmy under his cape and follows Brainiac into the past, landing in the same province as Brainiac and Supergirl. Brainiac resolves that he cannot leave Earth until he kills Superman. He gets to work, preparing a trap for the Man of Steel. Meanwhile, Superman, Jimmy, and Lana arrive in the town, disguised as serfs, learning all about Brainiac, his reign of terror, where he lives, and what he and Supergirl have been up to. They arrive at the castle, and Brainiac cleverly takes Jimmy and Lana as hostages. Having become totally insane with jealousy, Brainiac activates the personality machine at its utmost power, regardless of Supergirl's pleas for him to stop. Despite the machine's capacity, Superman's love for Supergirl gives him the strength to resist its deadly powers. This gives Superman the chance to escape, leaving Supergirl, Jimmy, and Lana at the mercy of Brainiac. Superman zooms to the future and finds Mr. Mix's Pitalik and convinces him to help him. When they both reappear in the past, Mr. Mix's Pitalik uses his magical powers and sends the whole town into another dimension where neither Superman nor Supergirl nor Brainiac have any powers. Now powerless, the two Kryptonian heroes, now adorned as knights in ancient armor, battle Brainiac. They overpower Brainiac, and with the help of Mr. Mix's Pitalik, they all go back to 1981, leaving behind them Brainiac as a humiliated and destroyed powerless man in the past dimension. When everything seems just as it should be, Mr. Mix's Pitalik does not honor the deal he made with Superman and masterminds a catastrophe of epic proportions. Mr. Mix's Pitalik stops time and only he and the two heroes can move through the paralyzed street. He then breaks up Metropolis into a gigantic puzzle and gives Superman one minute to put the puzzle together. If he's unsuccessful, the mischievous villain will send the unfinished puzzle into outer space. Superman and Supergirl race against the clock to put the puzzle together, saving millions of innocent people and stopping Mr. Mix's Pitalik for good. The world learns that Superman's strange behavior was all caused by the villain Brainiac, and he and Supergirl are praised as the heralds of planet Earth. The two Kryptonian champions would work together to keep the world safe from evil.